Today, we're talking about something big, Huawei's new operating system, HarmonyOS Next. The public beta testing is starting soon, and Huawei's making some bold moves to step away from Android entirely. Let's break it down. So what's the big news? Huawei has announced that HarmonyOS Next, their homegrown operating system, will begin public beta testing on October 8th. This comes just a few months after the beta was opened up for developers back in June. Now, the public gets a chance to try out the new OS, test its features, and provide feedback before its official rollout. One of the most talked about aspects of HarmonyOS Next is its complete separation from Android. That's right, unlike previous versions of Huawei's operating systems, which were built on Android, HarmonyOS Next is free of Android's underlying libraries. This means you won't be able to run any Android apps on it. No more sideloading apps or using the APKs you'd find on Android. It's a bold move, and Huawei seems confident that it's the right direction for them. But don't worry, Huawei says they've got you covered. They claim to have over 10,000 native apps on the platform already, serving 99.9% .9 of users' needs in China. These apps cover a wide range of uses, from productivity tools to entertainment. So most people shouldn't feel the absence of Android too much, at least in their local market. Now, the real challenge for Huawei is creating a thriving app ecosystem that can rival Android and iOS, and they're not holding back. To make this happen, Huawei has teamed up with some major players, including Ant Group, China Union Pay, and Flytech. These partnerships are helping to fill the gap left by Android apps and offer a wide variety of services to Harmonyo's users. Not only that, but Huawei's developer community is also growing rapidly. The company's developer alliance now boasts 6.75 million registered developers. That's a massive jump, 10 times more than it was just five years ago. And it's not just about numbers. Huawei is investing heavily in their developers, with over 6 billion yuan being poured into innovation and developer support. This is a clear sign that Huawei is serious about making Harmonyos a success. Huawei is pretty confident about where Harmonyos is headed. Xu Yanggang, the president of Huawei Mobile Cloud, made a bold claim recently, saying that Harmonyos Next has accomplished in just one year what took Android and iOS 17 years. That's a pretty big statement, but only time will tell if they can really deliver on it. If you're a Huawei user and you're curious about trying HarmonyOS next, the public beta will be available on select devices starting next month. These include the Mate 60 series, the Mate X5 series, and the Metepad Pro 13.2 series. So if you've got one of these devices, you might be among the first to get your hands on Huawei's bold new O's. The big question, though, is whether HarmonyOS next can really challenge the dominance of Android and iOS. Huawei has been working on HarmonyOS for a few years now, and with this latest update, they've completely blocked the ability to install Android apps. This wasn't always the case. Earlier versions of HarmonyOS were more like Android skins, allowing users to sideload apps. But now, Huawei is betting big on its own ecosystem, and they believe that their app market has enough to meet most users' needs. Off, it could reshape the mobile OS landscape, especially in China. The big question is whether they can compete with the likes of Android and iOS outside of their home market. What do you think? Could Harmonios next be the next big thing, or is it too risky to leave Android behind? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video.